am going to tell you about all electric cars coming to the market that have been converted from their gas versions by their car makers, which means now you have a choice, gas or electric. And I think I know which one I would choose. So let's get to all of them. There are 14. The Chevy Equinox EV is finally entering the market. The Chevy will continue making the gas version of the Equinox. And a lot of people are looking forward to this one because it is supposed to start at around $36,000 with over 300 miles of EPA range, 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. And if Chevy is able to keep that starting price, I think it's actually going to be pretty successful. All right, let's move on to the next one. And it is... The Fiat 500e is finally coming to America. They've been selling it in Europe for about three years now. And it's all going to be about the price. Because the specs at 150 miles and 0 to 60 at 9 seconds are not very impressive. So the price better be. Let's see what happens. But it does have a pretty good following. So it should sell in decent numbers. The GMC Sierra is going electric and we do need another electric pickup truck on the market. Now, we don't know if the starting price of $50,000 that GM is promising is going to be available this year, but at some point it will. It will have over 400 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, and it is definitely going to be welcomed into the market. The gas version will absolutely be kept on the market as well. Moving on, the BMW iX2 is going electric. The gas version has been on the market for a little bit with over 220 miles that's converted from the WLTP range, around $65,000 converted from euros and zero to 60 again, converted from kilometers at around 5.6 seconds. Now, I can't say that this is very impressive, but it is a BMW, so there are probably going to be some sales, though I gotta tell you, I think this one will have a tough time competing with all crossover SUVs that are coming on the market and have been on the market for a while. All right, before we move on to the next one, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Energy Pal. Are you thinking about going solar but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery or how much all of this is going to cost? Well, Energy Pal will do all of that for you and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete if you use the link in the description of this video. Oh, and they even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get so it can handle charging your EV all year round. That link is down there as well. All right, back to the list. The Citroën EC3. Now, this model has been offered in a gas version for a while now in Europe, and the EV is going to be quite affordable at around 25,000 American dollars converted from euros, but for that, you're gonna have to deal with some unimpressive specs, which are 163 EPA equivalent miles in zero to 60 in 11 seconds. So this is a budget car, but you're not gonna get much for it. The Ford e Torneo Courier, and we do need more of the minivans on the market. There is already a gas version that's been available for a while. The electric version is only going to be available in Europe, which is a shame. We don't know much about it. It does look like a gas conversion, but at this point, we'll take it. We do need minivans. The Ford Explorer EV is coming to Europe, but unfortunately not coming to the US, which is surprising. We don't know much about the specs, but we do know it's going to start at around 45,000 euros, which is a little under $50,000, depending on the, how strong the dollar is going to be in 2024. There is, of course, already a gas version of uh, this car, and uh, Ford will continue making it. But let's see if this EV does well enough in Europe for Ford to bring it back to America. All right, now we gotta talk about this one. The Honda ENY1. Not only this EV has a pretty bad name, but also pretty bad specs to go along with it. At only 130 EPA equivalent miles, 7.6 seconds, is there a zero to 60 specs? And yet it's going to be priced at $60,000 if you convert it from euros. I don't know who's going to be buying this. Honda has already embarrassed themselves with the Honda E that also had pretty bad specs and very high price. So I'm assuming this one will have similar fate. Now, this one does already have a gas powered version, uh, which is the Honda ZRV, 
but I don't see how this one is going to be a success. All right, what's next? The Peugeot E3008. There is already a gas powered version and we don't know much about the electric version except for the fact that it's going to have a very impressive range if they keep their promise at 435 miles. This is a pretty good looking car. It is not going to come to the US. I don't think anybody even knows about Peugeot in the US. So this is going to be a very welcomed addition to the crossover selection in Europe. The Renault Scenic E-Tech. Now this is the electric version of the gas powered Scenic. And this one is not bad at all with over 300 of EPA equivalent miles at only just above $50,000 converted from euros. We don't know much about the rest of the specs, but this does seem to be a pretty good addition to the crossover market that is being flooded, but yet uh, this one will probably fit pretty nicely. All right, the next EV is the Jeep Recon. Yes, Jeep is finally going electric and this is going to be the electric version of the Jeep Wrangler, though we don't know much about it. We don't know any specs, we don't know a price, we just know they're doing it and they're doing it in 2024. They're going to be bringing it to the US first and Europe and other global markets to follow. But that's all we know. I'm just excited that Jeep is finally joining uh, the century. The Jeep Wagoneer is going electric. There's obviously the gas version, but the electric version is the Wagoneer S. And I gotta tell you, it's got some pretty impressive specs at 400 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. We don't know the price, but I would say expect nothing less than $70,000. It is coming to America first in 2024 and then Europe and other global markets. I am excited that Jeep is going electric. It's just about time and we just need to hope that they are going to be ready for the off-road experiences which are different in electric vehicles. The Ram 1500 is finally going electric. They are at least one year late because of the Ford F-150, the Silverado, they're both gone electric already. Of course, there is the Cybertruck and Rivian and a couple of others that are already coming to the market as well. But they are promising pretty impressive specs, especially when it comes to the range at 500 miles, zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. And they're coming to both the US and Europe. I expect that they're going to be probably closer to the end of the year because Ram has been dragging their feet into the electrified future, but I am excited that Ram is finally here as well. The Range Rover is finally going electric, though I'm not really sure how serious they are about it because they didn't even bother come up with a cool name or any name except for the Range Rover Electric. As a matter of fact, I have to show you their hybrid version because they don't really have much of a video or the specs or the price for the electric version even though they are saying they're coming to the us and europe in 2024 instead they have you know this video that mainly features that girl here which i don't mind but aren't we supposed to be talking about the car all right let me know which one you're rooting for and if you want to know about all electric cars that are coming on the market this year i've put all of them together in one video and you can check it out right here all right looking forward to all of your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged